Everybody talks about data and technology, and data obviously and technology both have been around forever. The speed of which the change is occurring, leveraging data and the accessibility to the data and the more information we can glean from the data, leveraging technology and applying that to marketing is really where I see the most change in, in a year occurring. And again, it's something that's been happening for a while. Everybody talks about it. The one thing that's a watch out in all of this, as we know, is the GDPR and the privacy and what that will mean. Uh, not new, because we've always had issues surrounding privacy, but as more and more data becomes available to us, how do we circumvent those issues and concerns, and rightly so, around privacy? I've been in this industry for 30 plus years. I'm sorry for me to get that out and say it. And we've always had issues in privacy. I started in direct marketing years and years ago, and in direct mail, we had the same issues. They just weren't applied to the data that we have available and the speed of that data today. But as far as the privacy issue goes, that's decades old. From my experience, um, it drives us to think more innovatively, more creatively. So I welcome some of this because I believe we do need to protect individuals' privacy and what information we glean. We have to make sure that it's non-PII data that we're, we're getting. Um, where it's really sensitive, we have to ask for permission. Uh, that's critical. And the industry is doing that. We do need to make sure we are self-policing ourselves in that process, continually to do so. I honestly do believe very strongly, and this has been around for decades and decades, that if individuals, people, you and me, get information sent to them that is based on what is important to them, what is relevant to them, in a way that protects their privacy and isn't a little too creepy, it serves everybody best. It serves the marketers and it serves the consumers. So we need to keep going there. We can't hold back because of issues around privacy. We need to take these and use them as the impetus to move ourselves forward and to become more creative in the solutions that we're looking for. I think that there are a couple things that I have my eye on and one is voice and voice interaction. Um, that will be a definite game changer. It's not new. We've had voice for a while. It hasn't been connected across devices. Um, I believe that will be a game changer. Um, I also believe that in social and social commerce is becoming very big. So with the combination of voice and how social is evolving to be more connected to commerce um, and the internet of things, all of those together are creating big change and change in the way in which we're marketing and connecting to consumers. At the end of last year, I, I, I think there, again, there's a whole host of things. And if I look at the Consumer and Electronics Show as a barometer, um, and things that are changing there, and where I'm excited about is how devices are going to connect to each other. And I think we need to, in the future, look much further ahead and not as a single contact, but a multiple ways we're gonna be connecting across multiple devices, anywhere people are, from the car, to the home, to just out in the moment. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and I think also streaming. We've seen a tremendous amount of streaming technologies and the latest one um, from Jeffrey Katzenberg, Quibi, um, I think also will be a big game changer in terms of uh, the content and how people are consuming it. There's no place where you can get on your mobile device the type of quality Hollywood type content in short form than there. So I think we're going to see a lot more streaming. It's going to be confusing for consumers yeah. and it also might have an adverse effect in terms of how much they're willing to pay. So that model, I think we're going to see more of an explosion. Everyone it seems to want to get into that area. Um, and I think first to market and being addressing what consumers need and want will be critical 
to win in that space.